Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this A10C2 tank killer video, where I introduce the primary features of this update and instruct you on the use of the AGM-65L Laser Guided Maverick. A10C2 tank killer will be released at the end of September of 2020. For the first month after release, existing A10C Warthog customers can update for just $9.99. After one month, the price will increase to $19.99. For those that don't own A10C Warthog, be able to purchase the complete A10C2 Tank Killer for $79.99. A10C2 Tank Killer has the following primary features. New weapons like the AGM-65L Laser Maverick, the GB-54 Laser JDAM, and the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System Laser Guided Rocket. The Helmet Mounted Queuing System, or HEMIX. Updated cockpit and external model graphics improved flight dynamics and updated HOTAS commands. Following the initial release, we'll also add the more modern ARC-210 radio. Let's get started. So before we jump into the mission, let's take a look at some of the controls that we're going to be using for the Laser Maverick. So first, let's go to the aircraft type. We see we have A10C2 real selected. Uh, to the category, we'll go to axes commands first. And the big one here is you want to have the axes to slew the cursor. And that's going to be with HOTAS slew horizontal and HOTAS slew vertical. And you can see that I have both of those bound to the mini stick on my throttle. The next category we look at is HOTES, or hands-on throttle and stick. And we're going to be using quite a few here. Uh, so we have the, uh, the boat switch functions here. Uh, moving down, we're going to have the China hat functions, aft and forward. Uh, coming down, we're going to have the coolie switch for down, left, right, and up. Uh, next, we have the display management switch, or DMIS for aft, forward, left, and right. Uh, coming down, we have the uh, left throttle button, and I'll use that for autopilot sometimes. And below that, we have the master mode control button that will switch between uh, general modes of the A10C. Uh, further down, we're going to have the TMIS, or the uh, target management switch for uh, aft, forward, left, and right, uh, general trim switches. And the last, of course, will be the weapon release button. So those are going to be the general uh, HOTAS functions we're going to be using. And there's quite a bit. And compared to, say, the Hornet or the Viper, uh, HOTAS implementation in the A-10 is going to be a bit more complex, but we'll get there. Okay, let's uh, move forward on this. So before we jump into the uh, Laser Maverick, let's take a look at some of the changes we've made to the cockpit and the external model. And one of the first things you'll probably notice is that the uh, cockpit has had a retexturing re to give it a much more uh, beat-in look that has been around for a few years. Uh, but you'll notice that there are certain panels that were added on later, such as the uh, precision engagement uh, upgrade, the PE upgrade, such as the uh, armament control panel, uh, the UFC, the CMS panels, and so on. So those have a bit of a uh, less worn-in look. And the uh, most recent addition, of course, is the helmet-mounted queuing system control head back here. You also notice that we've removed the uh, TISL or the TISL uh, control head here because we're no longer used to pay penny pod in the A10C2. And there's also a, a blank panel here which once the ARC-210 is ready to go it will be inserted into this slot here. Uh, lastly here in the cockpit we notice that we've uh, updated uh, the viewpoint to bring it quite a bit higher uh, into the eye position to allow you to see over the cockpit better and give a more accurate representation of the seating position. Let's go outside now. And the first thing you'll notice is a uh, higher resolution in the 3D model and texturing of the A-10. Uh, you can even see here in the nose of the aircraft where it got bumped a few times during air refueling. It was bumps and bruises there. Uh, elsewhere, we've updated the material of the object to give it a much more realistic look, updated some of the textures, and of course, on the other side, we removed the uh, paint penny pod. So those are some of the graphical updates to the A-10. Now let's take a look at the Laser Maverick. Okay. 
Okay, laser maverick time. But uh, before we get up in there, let's do a little housekeeping. Uh, first, I'm going to turn on the targeting pod now to get that rolling. And at least for me, the uh, tad is a little washed out, so let's adjust that. Go a uh, little contrast, a little less brightness. And at least for my eyes, that's a bit more readable. So in this video, I have a bunch of targets at steer point 2 at 64 alpha. But you can see here on the tad that the sensor point of interest or the speed indicated by the white wedding cake symbols here at steer point 1. And we need to change that. So because the TAD is currently our sensor of interest, indicated by the box around the periphery, we'll go aft on the DEMA switch twice to zoom out. And steer point 2 is right over here, actually underneath that symbol. But now to move the speed to steer point 2, I'll first need to change the sensor of interest to the HUD. So we'll go coolly switch up once. And then we have the dot on the HUD indicating that the HUD is soy. And we'll go forward on the DEMA switch short. Now that moved the speed now here to steer point two. And the big advantage of that is that once we're ready to prosecute the attack, we can very quickly slay the targeting pod uh, to that target location. Okay, let's go ahead and take off. And as you might imagine, uh, later videos will take a look at the other weapons like the GB-54, APKWS, and of course the helmet. And you may notice that we're here at the uh, lovely uh, Creech Air Force Base in Nevada. As we're climbing out, let's go ahead and go master arm on, gun pack on, and laser arm. Using the master mode button, right now we're in nav mode, we want to change it to the continuously computed impact point for a Maverick attack, or CCIP. So we'll press the button once to guns mode, one more time, now we're in CCIP mode. In the uh, bottom uh, left corner, we have weapons off, which is the current profile. We're going to change that now to the Maverick profile. And we'll do that by going uh, DMA short to the right. Now we're in the uh, uh, Mike 151 Lima, which is the APKWS. And then one more time, and now we're in the Maverick profile. Swing back out to the west, and then we'll come back in. Air Force Base right here. And then our target array is out here. You can see the speed symbol through the helmet. And naturally, we're talking about the speed of the uh, helmet in great detail in a later video. Uh, for now, though, let's go ahead and bring up the uh, Laser Maverick on the right MSCD. We'll do that by going coolie switch short to the right again and again. You can see we're in the Maverick page now, indicated here. We have alert electro optical off. Let's turn that on. And now it's in the alignment mode. Now let's take a look at the digital stores management system with a distance page on the left side. And we'll go coolie switch short to the left, again, and again. And now here's the distance page. We can see we have uh, AGM-65 Limas on stations 3 and 9. They're on loud 117 launchers and they're in alignment mode with a laser code currently at 1688. Now speaking of the laser code, as you might imagine, the laser code of the Maverick will need to match the laser code of the designating targeting pod, or any other source for that matter. Uh, right now it's the default 1688. Now we can set that either through the HOTAS using the boat switch on the throttle, or we can actually do it through the distance page uh, through inventory. Now if we're going to do it through the HOTAS, uh, first we'll make the uh, Maverick page soy by going, in this case, uh, coolie switch to the right long, and then the cursor here we can move to, to determine uh, which character we're going to change by going forward on the boat switch. So now I'm the first character of one and I want to change that character I go aft on the boat switch. Save to two, let's go back to one. We'll keep it at that for now. But then if I wanted to I could change all the characters using that method. If I wanted to do it through the Dismas inventory I go to inventory, select the station, go to missile, we have uh, 65 Lima, and here's our code option. And we simply type in the code we want on the scratch pad and then hit the OSB. 
For now, let's go ahead and bring up the targeting pod again. Turn it on. Go to control page. Latch on. And back to the pod. And let's make the uh, targeting pod soy by going uh, long left on the coolie switch. Now to slay the targeting pod to the speed, we'll go uh, long aft on the China hat. And change field of view. We will go forward on the China hat. And to zoom in, we can go forward on the Dima switch. Let's go ahead and designate this guy. Cursor on. Let's put on the laser now by hitting the nose wheel steering button. And it'll stay on because we have it latched. Let's make the uh, Maverick Soy again by going long on clue switch to the right. Now to start our search for the seeker using the Maverick, we'll go Timus forward short and we'll start a scan in a raster pattern. So now searching, oh, got it very fast. Uh, the solid square indicates a good lock. Now we'll go ahead and press and hold the weapon release button and rifle. We can see our weapon range here on the right. We've launched around nine miles, so a pretty long shot. And we'll also see that on the weapon page as well. The flashing L indicates that the laser is firing, both here on the HUD and also on the TGP page. Of course, we can change our TGP polarity by going aft on the uh, boat switch. And shack. So, that's a little look at what we have coming for uh, A10C2 tank killer, as well as an explanation of how you use the uh, Laser Maverick for the Warthog. Anyhow, I very much hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.